So what's going on with GameStop stock lately? It seems ever since around mid-June when there was a lot of hype around it that it's been radio silence. Nothing really has changed and the stock has just continued to go further and further and further down, causing most of us to just lose most of our money. So what should you do? Is it time to just sell and put it all away and just say too bad, so sad? Well, not so fast. There are a couple of things that you should and shouldn't be doing if you wanna make money off this. And there are some big mistakes that you should be avoiding unless you wanna lose a lot of money. Let's get right into it. All right, let's take a look at the GameStop stock chart and what's been going on since a while ago, since the last few months. We could see the high was about 65 here in May, then it fell all the way back down to 18, and then it went right back up to 47. This was around the time that Roaring Kitty tweeted, or he didn't tweet, he put something on Reddit at deep F in value, saying that he was holding a whole bunch of shares. It spiked up, I bought some shares here at the high. We'll talk about that's not something you should be doing, don't ever buy it at the high. It spiked up right here, then it went down. It's been pretty much going up and down for a long time, probably around here, mid-June, something like that, when it was around $33. Advertisements popping up on me. Probably around here is when I made that video talking about don't lose all your money in GameStop. And a lot of you saw it, got a lot of good comments, by the way. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, always appreciate it. Then it went down and up, and it was kind of a little bit rough over here. And just a couple of weeks ago, it looks like maybe even just last week, it was up almost at $30. And then it erased all its gains, falling right, down, right back down to the $23, $22 mark. Now, I've been watching Sleepy Bear's videos. He does videos on GameStop. I think he does a great, great job. And you could actually see these are the candlesticks they're called. And right down here, there's not a lot of selling pressure on the stock. There's not a lot of buying pressure. The stock's pretty much just stuck in a sort of purgatory right around here. If we could see back over here on Thursday, June 6th, there was a lot of buying pressure followed by a ton of selling pressure. And that's why you could see the stock went from 47 down to 38, back down to 29, almost, almost cut itself in half, almost 40% loss right there. Not a lot of selling pressure, not a lot of buying pressure, not a whole bunch of news right now going on for GameStop. I mentioned that video I made back in mid-June. We were right around $30 and now we're actually at $23. I didn't think we were gonna get this low, but I knew in the back of my mind that things like this can happen and a lot of times they do happen. I've learned this the hard way, investing in Tesla stock all the way from 2020 up until now, 2024. So I've seen stocks go up like crazy. I've also seen them crash like crazy before as well. So anything is possible when it comes to the stock market, especially with single stocks that are so volatile like GameStop stock. Now I do believe that the stock will go up and will go up pretty exponentially, but it might take some time. It could happen today. Time of filming this video, it is 12.30 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, July 30th, 2024. It might happen today. We might be sitting here for a little while longer than we expected. So this is my plan. If it falls below $20, I may buy some more shares. I currently have about 60 shares and my average cost is around 33 34 dollars something like that so it doesn't make sense for me to sell because i would sell at a significant loss almost a 30 percent loss that is not something we want to do now as far as what i am planning on doing with the stock if the stock falls below 20 dollars or to 20 dollars i may put a little bit more money in there not a whole lot just to just to bring my average cost down maybe to 32 or 30 dollars that way it only has to go above 30 dollars for me to turn positive with my shares on the stock now where do i see the stock going i think we can definitely make it back up to 47 or 50 and just so we're clear, I would love for this stock to go to 100. I'd love for it to go to 1,000. It would make me and a lot of you very rich. I understand that. But we can't live in a fantasy land. We can't live in dreamland. Life, especially stocks like this, throw us curveballs all the time. And there are a lot of people that are watching this stock, big hedge fund managers, big financial people that don't want the stock to run. So once it does start to run, we have to be really careful because there might be some negative catalysts coming out trying to pull the stock back down. And this is something that I've seen with Tesla stock over the years. So just keep that in mind. Now, I would love for it to go to $50. I would think about taking some profits right then if it goes to 50. But I also understand that if it goes to 40 or 45, that's also good to take profits as well. Profits, for me, anything above where your average cost 
per share is, that's when you should be taking profits. So what does that mean? If you bought one share at $40 and you bought a second share at $30, the average cost of those two shares is $35. So as soon as this stock goes to $37, you actually are gonna make $2, yeah, $2 off of both stocks, even though you bought one share one share of stock at forty dollars so it's it's pretty much just a math equation at that point and that's why at right now i believe right now is a great time to buy if you have some cash on your hands and you're okay with investing in a super risky stock like this gamestop all right now a couple of things that you're going to want to think about a couple of questions i would ask if i were you by the way i'm not a financial advisor this is just my opinion entertainment purposes only you got to do this at your own risk and you got to do your own due diligence such as I have. What are you going to do if the stock falls to $15 or $10? What are you going to do if it falls to $0? I know a lot of people rip me in the comments saying that can't happen because GameStop has $4 billion on cash. Yes, you're absolutely right. GameStop is in a very good position cash wise, but it does not mean that GameStop stock is going to be directly connected to GameStop the company. I've seen stocks or we've seen stocks run up like crazy for no reason. We've also seen them crash for no reason. Explain how Tesla stock can constantly crashed when they beat earnings and then explain how when they missed earnings, the stock ran up like crazy. Trading and investing doesn't really mean, in the short term at least, it doesn't really match up to what the company is doing. I've seen, I've seen it before. We've all seen it before. So that's something you're going to want to ask yourself. And again, you're going to want to ask yourself, when do you want to start selling and taking some profits if this is a short-term play for you? Short-term meaning you're only going to hold it for a few months. If you want to sell at 50, but the stock goes to 45 and starts pulling back, what if it has to go all the way back down to where we are right now? Again, we don't know if it's going to happen. No one knows where the stock's going to go tomorrow, by the way. No one on YouTube, no one on TV, no one on wherever, Twitter, X, whatever they're calling it. No one on Reddit. No one knows what the stock is going to do tomorrow. It's extremely unpredictable, especially a stock like this. So you got to ask yourself, what do you really want to do with this stock? Why are you investing in it? I would say stay away from get-rich-quick schemes. There's no such thing. You're only going to be... You're going, to be, you're going to be upset and you're going to have a lot less money in the first place than if you stayed away from those get-rich-quick schemes in the first place. So what would happen if it just decided to fall? Would you be upset? Do you need that money now? Did you? That means you put too much money in. What would happen if Roaring Kitty started to sell some shares and he actually posted about it? Then the stock would take a nosedive most likely, or maybe not. Maybe we would all just get together and buy more shares and buy the dip like we've been doing. You never know what can happen in the short term in the stock. I believe in the long term, the stock is going to go up and I think it's going to go up exponentially. I just don't think it's going to happen. It might happen soon. Again, I would love for it to happen like today or tomorrow, but I just, there has to be some sort of news or there has to be some sort of catalyst for the stock to happen. And a catalyst, a, a catalyst could just be the stock starts going up and then people start to FOMO into it and driving the price higher and higher and higher. And the more the stock goes higher, the Basically, the higher, the more people are going to want to buy it. That's how things, that's how we get that, what do we call it? That parabolic squeeze. It's not really a short squeeze at that point, but it's just people being human saying, oh man, I should buy it. If it's going up, it's going to go higher. I know I've done it and it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't work. Now you need to tread lightly on single stocks. Do not put all your money in any single stock, especially you need that money to pay rent and pay your bills because then you're going to be in a whole lot of financial trouble and you're going to be forced to sell at a loss. And then what's going to happen is you're going to say, oh my God, I put $10,000 in, the stock dropped 20% and then I had $8,000, I had to take it out. I just lost $2,000. I could have paid my rent with that for a month or I could have fed my family with that for a month or now I don't have money to put gas in the car. You don't want to put yourself in that position. If you have $10,000 to your name, you should not be putting, in my opinion, you should not be putting more than $1,000 in a stock like this. And actually, if it was $10,000 all you had, I'd only put 500 in. And if you could turn 500 into 800 or 1,000, awesome. If you turn 500 into 250, you only lost 250. It's better than losing 20% of your entire net worth just because a stock like GameStop decided to just do a bunch of flips and tricks and all that stuff on the, on the stock market. So let me know what you think of this video. Hopefully it helped. Let me know what your plan is with GameStop stock. Are you going to buy? Are you going to sell? Are you investing in something better? Or are you just investing in the S&P 500? Like me, most of my money is in the S&P 500. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Invest safe.
Thanks for watching.